when you've finished editing your project, it's time to save it so that you can then uh, show it off at the competition to the judges. Um, what I'd like to do first is take a look at the NHD rules uh, for the competition. And what they say for the students is you need to be able to run the program within the 10 minute limit. Remember to keep your video under, you know, at or under 10 minutes. Uh, and then the next part is kind of the critical part. You must be able to, you must provide and be able to run your own computer software and other equipment while presenting your documentary to the judges. Interactive uh, computer programs and web pages in which the judges or audience participate aren't allowed. Uh, and internet access may not be available. And those are the things that need to be kept in mind as we save our projects. Um, Meaning, you could save it and put it on a DVD so you can play it. That can sometimes be kind of an, an issue depending on how you burn that DVD. Um, you could save it to a flash drive so that you could play it. Um, that would be a good way to do it. Um, or you could save it to maybe your Google Drive or put it on a YouTube channel or something like that. But if you're being judged in a situation where there is not internet, um, you may not be able to do that. So what I suggest you do is, is all of the above. And I want to show you how to do how to make that happen. So the first thing you want to do, my project, let's say, is finished. I want to click Finish and give it a title. So I would suggest you know something that relates to your thesis, um, whatever it is. I don't really have a thesis, so I'll say NHD thesis statement or something like that. Come, you want to have something that sets yours apart a little bit, and we'll hit Set. Now, what I want to do is um, probably save it at the highest possible um, resolution, which is 720p that they have here. Um, this will save it at Wii Video. Um, if you have a YouTube channel set up, um, you could save it to your YouTube channel or Dropbox or Vimeo. Um, at the very least, just we'll hit Finish Video and that will save it at um, the Wii Video site. Now this takes a little bit of time. When it is finished, you will get an email and a link that will allow you to download that rather than have you wait for this to upload. Uh, I'm going to pause this video and come back. But if it seems to be taking a while, understand that you've done everything right. You're uploading, in this case, a nine and a half minute video to the web. It's going to take a little while. So I'm going to pause right now and I'll come back after that is finished. All right, my video has finished. Uh, I left this window up so I could show, I'll show you what it looks like here. You are able to close this um, window that uh, is showing while it's uploading. But if you do, you'll get an email, and I just got my email from Wii Video that tells me my export is, uh, has been a success. So if I hadn't closed the window, I can click on this to watch the video. Um, this will take me to where it is. It's, this is the URL where it's been saved at Wii Video. So what, one of the ways uh, that you could show this off to the judges is just to write down this URL. You could pull it up in a web browser if you are being judged in a place that does have the internet. Um, I'm going to click on the email that I got and you can see if I click on this it takes me to exactly the same place. So if you do close that window like I had done on this, this one on the right, um, you sure can get back to your, your project. The second thing that I would do is click this button right here, which allows you to download an MP4, which is a kind of a universal format for video, uh, to your computer. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to download to my computer. It's going to take a, no, not too long, but take a little bit of, of time. What I would do with that then is drag it to a flash drive uh, so that I have a copy of it on a flash drive that I could plug into a laptop or a computer to show to the judges. So that would give you a hard copy. Once I have that downloaded, what I also suggest you do, so like I said, it's living in the web at Wii Video, I would make a copy or upload a copy to my Google Drive. So I'm going to go to my Google account uh, and go to my drive. And if you've not uploaded something to your drive before, it's very simple. You could put it into one of your folders that you already have established if you have lots of folders. But you go New, File, Upload. In this case, I want to go to the Downloads folder on this machine and find NHD Thesis Statement because that's what I saved my video as. Um, sorry to make you wait. There it is. Um, I'll upload that then to my Google Drive 
And now I have a third place where it could be saved, or where it has been saved, so I have another copy. So if I do have access to the internet, I could either watch it at this URL that Wii Video has, uh, you know, where it lives in the Wii Video Cloud, or I could pull it out of my Google Drive. When you upload your video to your Google Drive, it takes a few minutes before it's available, but here is the file within my Google Drive. So this would be the other way I could play it from the internet. If I just double click on that, it will then be available. Um, remember that I had saved my, uh, downloaded my video as an MP4 and we put it on a flash drive. MP4 is a kind of a universal um, movie format that will play in a variety of software, but you don't really need any fancy software to play it. Um, what I'm going to do is just show you all I need to do is drag it into a browser window whether or not that browser is hooked up to the internet or not. So what I'll do is I'll go to my downloads folder where that had been. This could be my flash drive if that was it, but all you need to do is drag it into a browser. In this case it's Chrome, but it would work in Firefox or, or Safari, and it will play uh, in a web browser. Um, typically when we use a web browser we're using the internet, but in this case um, if you're in a situation where there is no internet available, uh, the web browser will play your video whether or not you're hooked up to the internet. There are other software applications that are on your computers that will play your MP4 files as well. One common one that most of you probably have is iMovie, so I, or I'm sorry, iTunes. I've opened up iTunes. Um, if I drag, if, excuse me, if I go to movies and drag that video file into the movies part of iTunes, It'll take a second for it to copy, but if I double click on that, iTunes will play uh, your movie file if it's in an MP4. Another common application is something called VLC. It's a free application. It's kind of a universal video player um, that you can download from the web. Uh, if you just do a Google search for VLC, that'll work. Um, as this opens up, I'll show you. Here's the VLC player. If I were to drag that in there, it will play it. Other common applications that will also play MP4s would be something like maybe you have the Real Player, R-E-A-L. That's kind of a common media player. On Windows machines, I believe this is not a Windows machine, so sorry I don't have it in front of me. The Windows Media Player should also play MP4s. But like I said earlier, I think the easiest way is to just drop it into a web browser and play it from the web browser.